Bratstvo dalo bi gospodstvo kulturnog centra. Večeras pred nama je promocija dvije knjige koje su objavljene u Sjedinjenim američkim državama. Prva knjiga je Imić Paraga u Sjedinjenim američkim državama 2012-2014, autora Petera Tasea, a druga knjiga je Bosna i Hercegovina i 21. stoljeće Slava Hudna Hađovića. Moj ime je Dino Korović, da volit ću Slava Hudna da preuzme gledanje moderaciju. So, his, he mentioned we're going to continue all event tonight in English. So because the public books have been published in English, so I hope that all of you can understand and might understand and must understand English tonight. So first of all, I would like to greet you all on behalf of myself and my distinguished colleague Peter Pace, and would like especially to greet our guests from Maragai, very His Excellency, uh, Rector of the Universidad Nacional del Este from the Ciudad del Este from Paraguay, Mr. Victor Alfredo Vitez and also Rwanda Zagovia, Director of International Relations of the University of National Alaska. I also would like to express deep gratitude to my uh, uh, fellow Professor Emeritus, Vizdarevich from Zara University, my fellow colleagues, uh, writers who came here tonight, and of course my dear citizens, especially uh, members of my family as well, and the dear citizens of Sarajevo. We greet you here on behalf of myself and my dear colleague, Peter Tess. What do you like to present you tonight Besides, I would like to say also we have uh, Bravo Lindsay, the, the, the pedagogical musical band, uh, uh, Real Face from Sarajevo, who will cover up also tonight. What you heard just a couple of minutes ago was a uh, Paraguayan accent, and also after that, as everybody knows, our uh, Boston accent. Maybe one of the reasons why uh, we have decided to do this is uh, try to show that the international culture doesn't have borders in the global community. As you know very well, Marshall McLuhan said the world is global village. So it's, tonight we are showing that on a, on a spot of the ground to be able to show you that yes, we can do that regardless we are coming from different continents, not just from different states. First of all, I would like to present my dear colleague Peter Pace, who is a distinguished, distinguished scholar from the United States of America and also world known journalist who wrote an article and essays for their magazines and journal, uh, journals like as Federal News, uh, Eurasia Radio, Foreign Policy News, etc., etc. But as I usually say when I present all myself and my colleagues, I usually say just Google it. So nothing can be hidden for any other parts, just Google it. So at the, at the beginning, uh, talking about uh, his book, I would like uh, uh, <coughs> gladly to read a uh, review of uh, the book of Peter Tate's The Image of Paragon in the United States of America. And I would like to mention that uh, tonight the book is on a symbolic price of 10 euros or 20 million marks, and all the income, all the re revenue from out uh, of the books will be given to the Bosnian Cultural Center as our kind of support and, and gratitude for, for making us possible to have uh, uh, this promotion here tonight in the books. So I would like uh, gladly to say a few words about the book. The book of Peter Pace has been edited by Carol von der Pop, Orlando College. New York, United States of America, and Dr. Alberto Manuel Polita Dorma, Universidad Colombia del Valle. And it has been uh, published just this summer. And one of the reviews is uh, myself. So, power of arguments and not the arguments of power. Simplicity of expression, methodological specificity of appearances with journalistic specifics of quality, diversity, and strength of objective arguments that even for one moment does not become recognized as arguments of power, but rather the opposite, the power of the arguments. Severity analysis approach to vice Paraguayan economy is past, present, with the aim of emphasizing quality preconditions for the future, is what separates this book in comparison with similar essayistic reportage focused analytical essays. In media stress, books of similar embodiments often have forego assumption of the manipulative actions, targeted desire of court of law taught through certain forms of economic determinations of endorse of daffodils, using the phrase, the road to hell is paid with good intention. No, this book is not only analytically precise, scientifically formulated, and journalistic clarity, but maybe a textbook of a new generation. Journalists often tend to be universal ignorant, going to the realization of a little knowledge of everything instead of knowledge of, spe of specific manifestations, harmony and strongly. 
Peter Tate belongs to the other nation, being the scientist who objectively, scientifically, satisfactory form of answers to the essential questions of how. Trying to not only ask questions, but also giving the answers on topics given to his own journalistic analytical being. He reveals the base of hope within the Bermuda Triangle of false assumptions, carrying himself with a thought that does not impose but never directs himself and its goal of objective journalism, scientific ground primary. Our consideration towards the methodology of knowledge about something, to have that something has become receptive to space and time on which he is focused at, and us with him. Not even for one moment the yielding to be trapped in revelation by his own words and thoughts, of course, that it might take away, take him away in the opposite direction. It connects, in incompatible indeed, connecting people, cities, regions, and countries. Why? Because of the basic human civilization wish to show that on the area of the world does not work figures deluded with conspiracy theories, but the people who make civilization of the moment and who wants to live this decent life no matter where, when, how much, and how they live. Of course, the question how is essential if we focus on all of the world. Answers are found in the book by Peter Pace, of course, if we know how to read. Not between the lines, because he was not of that kind of authors who gives troubles or the Torby to the people and readers and smashes with the question what the writer wanted to say, but directly by decomposing <coughs> the manifest and holding it back into analytical forms of possible visions, of the cooperation, upgrading and implementations, of the economy in all its forms, of the appearances, we live in a perfect world, a world where the rich have more and more and the poor less and less, in the world of capitalism that has overcome the possible alternatives shaped and structured within socialism in the century behind us. But rather is the capitalism that we know today worthy of the end of history as Fukuyama announced. Maybe we need to experience in some kind of death, catharsis in front of which is just South American area of economic potential and economic prosperity. To be able to see that the answer is right in the modalities of the possible alternatives, alternatives offered by this book. How? That precisely uh, persistent question again opens before us. The answer is, as always, painfully simple. With the taste, when analyzing the orientation of the president's wishes of one small in terms of space, people, and to some extent limited resources, but large at orientations, realizations, aspirations, countries such as Paraguay, he uses a simple formula. The formula which is located in the reply to challenge of the above mentioned capitalist orientations. In fact, as far as we are saying that there may be an alternative to the above, there is something in which people are forced to abuse, said, put somebody in power and give him money and you will see who really he is. In the negative sense, of course, the simplicity of the termination of the President Paraguay with his associate is proving just the opposite. That man who has the power and the money does not have just always to have negative directions. Why? Due to the understanding of space and time in which he lives, knowing the benefits of the, for the individual brings good uh, today and for a short time, and the common good brings benefit for a longer period of time, five days, etc., etc. So, I would like to uh, ask you and to kindly to ask you to continue to read my uh, review because it's a little bit longer and I don't want to bother you too long with this. I'll just give you a little bit of introduction to it. Thank you very much. It's quite an honor to be here today and uh, be joined by uh, two uh, distinguished guests from the Republic of Paraguay and also from uh, uh, honorable intellectuals from the capital city of Bosnia Herzegovina, uh, Sarajevo. I'd like to express my uh, deep gratitude to uh, Chancellor Vito Brita Samora for his participation here at this uh, uh, quote unquote surprise uh, book, uh, surprising book ceremony because we, we uh, had arranged this book promotion event only one week before coming to Bosnia Herzegovina. And also, I'd like to express my gratitude to Rolando Savoya Paez, who is a rising star in, uh, in Paraguayan academic. Uh, academia and uh, public university uh, uh, network uh, 
uh, as the director of the, of the International Affairs Office of the National University of the East. Uh, it's quite a surprise to be here today, and it's a great joy to, uh, to visit Bosnia and Herzegovina for the first time. And uh, I'm, I'm deeply very emotional because, emotional because, uh, because be keeping, keeping in mind the, uh, the tragic years of war that Bosnia and Herzegovina and its people have gone through from 1992 until 1995, and, uh, and it's, it's quite, quite a learning experience and, uh, and the university in itself. Uh, going to uh, placing some emphasis on my book, I would like to uh, underline that uh, the Republic of Paraguay is a uh, very little known worldwide. Very only very few people know about the Republic of Paraguay, and uh, uh, fortunately, I've been one of those few people who uh, has uh, found a lot of appreciation for the, the Paraguayan history, current politics, and uh, foreign affairs. So this is the reason why I decided to publish a number of essays and uh, lengthy articles about the uh, national image and uh, agricultural production and also the role, the role that Paraguay plays in international trade, commerce and also in the global community of nations. This is the reason why I decided to publish this book, The Image of Paraguay in the United States, in uh, trying to shed more light towards the accomplishments and achievements that uh, the current administration of uh, President uh, Horacio Carlos Jara has undertaken towards eradicating poverty, uh, promoting the sustainable development in the country and bringing growth and welfare to its ordinary citizens. Uh, to, make this, to make this brief, I would like to share with you a short piece of one of the articles uh, found on page 81 of my book. Uh, that is uh, Paraguay's exports of beef, rice, maize, wheat, have shown an increase. This was published uh, in January 20th, 2013. Uh, in 2012, uh, Paraguay exported commodities and goods with a value of more than 5. Point, uh, uh, with a value of 5,000 million dollars, which was 7.8% less in 2011 and 12.2% more than in 2010. The main factor for the export reduction lies in the soybean production chain, which was 37.7% of the total exports in 2012. With regard to 2011, soybean exports decreased by 30.8% and soybean oil reached 49.7% increase. Most of the other sectors performed well. Exports of beef even were temporarily suspended due to outbreak of hoof and mouth disease in September 2011, still experienced an increase of 4.6% in 2012 compared to 2011. Maize, wheat, and rice were the main products of mechanized farming exported and their quantities increased. Uh, cotton showed a remarkable recovery after several years of decline. Its exports increased by 159%. The export increase of leather grew by 7.1%. Exports of cigarette products increased by 46%. And Paraguay manufactured medicinal drugs experienced a growth of 23%. So as, as, I, as I'm trying to show you a, a, a taste of some of, the, some of the research that has been conducted, uh, over the last two years on Paraguayan economy, uh, eco economical and social development, as well as, uh, as, well as the reforms undertaken by President Horacio Carpes Hara. Now I would like also to, uh, to uh, read another, another fragment, another section of, uh, of another article that I have uh, published at Spera News. Uh, this is a journal, this is a digital journal site where I have been publishing all the articles that are, that are present in this book. Uh, on April 21st, Paraguay will have presidential and general elections and the winning political party will rule the country over the next five years. According to local media, Horacio Carpes and Juana Hampara lead the polls in Paraguay. This is uh, on April 21st, 2013. Uh, Horacio Manuel Cartes Jara was born in Asunción, Paraguay's capital city. In 1956, he pursued his elementary education and is the current president of Paraguay. At the, uh, he pursued his elementary education at the Dolphin Elementary School and Cristo Rey High School. He later attended the Spartan School of Aeronautics in Oklahoma and then went on to an internship at the Cessna Aeronautical Factory in Wichita, Kansas. Cartes owned his professional business skills while working at Iowa Central, uh, his father's company and became involved in investments in many business sectors that now comprise the 25 companies that are part of the Cartes Group. He also owns a soft drink factory in the state of Florida. Cartes has also been involved in soccer and became 
president of, of the Libertad Club in 2001. During his leadership, Libertad was, won seven national championships uh, at the Paraguay Soccer Association. He was very influential in bringing Paraguay to the quarterfinals of the 2010 World Cup Soccer Championship in South Africa. Having become a member of the Paraguay Colorado Party in September 2009, he soon founded party factions called the Colorado Honor Movement. He successfully changed party rules that required party membership of 10 years for, for presidential and vice presidential candidates. In December 2012 primary ballot, Cartes, Horacio Cartes Jara, beat party rival Javier Zacarias Herum and won a majority with more than 200,000 votes and gained general support within the, within the Colorado Party. Therefore, he is one of the few presidential, presidential candidates in the recent history of Paraguay winning a landslide victory uh, on the presidential elections. To conclude, I would like to express my deep gratitude to Sabahuddin Hadzianic, who has uh, kindly written a book review on this volume, and, uh, and I can assure all of you that this is just the beginning of, of our collaboration in the area of literature, uh, international affairs, and strategic communication. I want to thank you again for, for your time and your presence here. Sada mučka pauza koju će nam uraditi profesor na gitari N.S. Ibrićević.
you, I'd like to uh, invite Chancellor uh, Victor, Rick, uh, Victor uh, British Chamorro to uh, say a few words about the uh, official uh, visit here in uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina and share with us his thoughts about his university, the National University of the East, and uh, possible collaboration with uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina and uh, the various academic institutions here in Sarajevo. Uh, Bueno, muy buenas noches y muchas gracias por poder compartir esta, este gran momento para nosotros histórico en el cual podemos aquí presentar dos libros de dos autores y dos mentes muy inquietas. Thank you so much for uh, being here. It's uh, it's quite an honor and a big surprise to uh, and share a few words about this uh, wonderful moment and historic moment uh, which is dedicated to the promotion of two books from uh, these authors, from the school authors. Peter and Sabahdin eh, represent in this moment the great thinking of people who want the best for the countries in which they are located and están are thinking in a better quality of life for their inhabitants. Sabahuddin so, Adyanic uh, is one of the intellectuals that uh, is fighting and is striving every day, strives every day to uh, secure and ensure a better life for his uh, 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 fellow countrymen and for his people. Y es en ese sentido de que estos dos eh, materiales que hoy están expuestos aquí representan una contribución muy importante para poder comprender la realidad que viven cada uno de estos dos países y pensar en un futuro mejor para cada uno de ellos. These two books represent the desires and aspirations of each one of us uh, towards having a better uh, socio-economic environment for both countries, on both countries, and uh, ensure a higher standard of living. Un gran poeta latinoamericano dice que normalmente el pensamiento de los hombres es un, una pregunta lanzada al tiempo que solamente tiene respuesta en las generaciones futuras. A distinguished author from Latin America once said that the aspirations of intellectuals of today are simply questions that will be answered in the future generations. Y es en ese sentido que estas, estos dos materiales son ese tipo de pensamientos lo que aglutinan. Preguntas que podrán ser respondidas recién en las generaciones futuras. Hoy nosotros las interpretaremos, las tendremos para poder contribuir en nuestra comprensión de la realidad, pero evidentemente esto queda para siempre y para el futuro de nuevas generaciones que quieren un futuro mejor. Exactly, this is the, this is the meaning of these two volumes. The content of these books uh, is simply an aspiration and a desire for us, for all of us, to see, to see it implemented in the future. Even though some of us imagine the future, we still have to give it time in order to see the, the dreams and aspirations and better days to come in the future generations. Justamente lo que Sabahuddin coloca en la contratapa de su libro era cuáles son las respuestas a un montón de preguntas que en Bosnia se hace y que desea para un futuro mejor. Exactly what uh, Sabahuddin has in the back cover of his book. And there are many questions that are not answered and some of them are deeply related with uh, the future of Bosnia and Herzegovina. What do we need? What do we, how do we like to see Bosnia and Herzegovina in the future? De igual manera, Peter coloca una realidad sobre la imagen de Paraguay, el país que él ha adoptado, para poder interpretar lo que ocurre y ver cómo eso afecta al futuro de nuestro país. On the same time, on the same coin, on the same coin, uh, on the same side of the coin, Peter has uh, provided an image of Paraguay and uh, how that image will affect the future of Paraguay in a globalized environment and in a, in a more in a more interconnected environment. Por eso para mí es una gran satisfacción estar presente en este acto y rendir un homenaje y uno es un honor muy grande para mí 
poder tener a dos intelectuales de la talla de San Bajudín y Peter compartiendo esta mesa conmigo y agradecerle a ambos por esta oportunidad. For me, it's quite a great privilege and honor to be here and to say a few words in this wonderful event uh, organized uh, to uh, commemorate these volumes for, the, for these two, these volumes published by these two authors. Quiero desearles el mejor de los éxitos, invitarlos a leer y a contribuir con estos dos materiales que estoy seguro serán de mucho interés para cada uno de ustedes. Muchísimas gracias. I would like to invite you to read these two books. I'm, I'm confident and sure that uh, the content of these two books are going to be valuable for, for all of you, to all of you, and, uh, and you should enjoy it. Thank you very much. Honorable Chancellor uh, Victor Brindes Chamorro, thank you so much for your kind comments. Agüeyeta Aiten, the Deputy Leader of Guasú, hoy se ha recogido tal respeto para usted. I have to uh, say uh, excuse, I have, to, I have to express my excuses for some of you because I just broke the rule. I spoke in Guarani for, for a couple of sentences. Uh, which is the second uh, uh, is the second official language of uh, Paraguay. Uh, the Guarani language is the, is the second official language of Paraguay. And Paraguay is the uh, is the only country in Western Hemisphere that has two official languages, and uh, is the best way of uh, expressing an appreciation to a distinguished intellectual like uh, Chancellor Vitas Chamorro, who, is, uh, who has shown a great leadership and, and vision while he has managed uh, his university, while running his university for almost 10 years now. It's a public university and it is the most globalized university in Paraguay. Uh, now I would like to, uh, I'd like to invite Orlando Segovia Paez, who is, uh, who is a young intellectual in Paraguay, and uh, he's a well-known expert in international affairs. And he's single, by the way. Buenas noches, realmente emocionado y sorprendido. Como decía el rector, dos mentes muy inquietas que están haciendo historia para dos pueblos. Uh, good evening to all. I'm very emotional. I'm very emotional and, uh, and uh, highly privileged to be here today. As Chancellor Vita stated and mentioned, these are two uh, minds that never rest. Lo que hoy publica Peter Teis es una contribución muy importante para la imagen del Paraguay en el exterior, para contar más sobre mi país, y es el segundo material en el cual él refleja de que lo tiene al Paraguay muy en el corazón, después de su diccionario en cinco idiomas en simultáneo con el guaraní y ahora este material sobre la política exterior de Paraguay y la perspectiva de los Estados Unidos. This is a volume uh, published by uh, Peter Teis and uh, it has, it, it, it brings a great contribution towards improving the image of Paraguay abroad. It is the second volume that he has published over the last year. The first, uh, the first volume, the first book that he has published was a simultaneous dictionary in five languages in which are included the Guarani language and the Guarani language and the Spanish language together and that is the first dictionary that has that is designed that way in the world. And uh, of course, this is uh, this is one of his works that has contributed that will contribute and continue to contribute uh, towards promoting the image of Paraguay abroad. Hoy día este material hace de que podamos decir de que las relaciones entre Paraguay y Estados Unidos eh, están cada vez más firmes y de que Paraguay es un país con un gran potencial, con grandes conocimientos también para ayudar y cooperar con otros pueblos también aquí en la región de Europa. Uh, this book ensures again the closer ties and great cooperation between Paraguay and Bosnia, and, I'm sorry, Paraguay and the United States, and also it opens a, a new path for Paraguay to establish closer ties with Bosnia and Herzegovina and uh, Southeast Europe. Al amigo Saudín, realmente un gusto conocerlo. El esfuerzo que está haciendo por tener un país mejor, 
sus sueños, sus ideales, también son parecidos a los nuestros y realmente muy emocionado de poder estar esta noche aquí y muy honrado de poder estar en esta mesa, en esta mesa con ustedes. Muchas gracias, éxitos y felicitaciones. To our colleague Zabalina Djalic, it's uh, I want to wish him all the best. I want to wish him every success. I'm very emotional to be here sitting next to him, and uh, we all uh, we all support his vision and support his aspirations to have a better Bosnia Herzegovina and uh, a better social economic conditions for his citizens, for the Bosnia Herzegovina citizens. Muchas gracias a todos. Thank you so much.
the past and its future in this book. The reason I say that is because the, the style of his writing is very philosophical. Uh, it reminds me of uh, my early days when I was reading Descartes. Uh, but at the same time, his words are down to earth. Uh, they, have, they have such a special notion, uh, a, quite, a quite sensitive style. And uh, those who are not uh, good public servants uh, would feel very comfortable, or they would feel very uncomfortable in reading his words. But literature and uh, international affairs and uh, the uh, philosophical uh, interpretations of uh, today's world and uh, uh, obstacles in our globalized environment cannot be better expressed than Sabal uh, Dinat Yavich. I would like to share with you my review, uh, for which I've been pressured for weeks and weeks and weeks to write because I've been, <laughs> been busy with other important projects, but <laughs> I managed to do it and I, I hope I did a, a decent job on it. Honesty, patriotism, virtual meritocracy, and a meticulous analysis of democracy's current challenges and obstacles are under the lenses of Sabahuddin Adyalic, who are all his essays and articles introduced in this unique and relevant book published in the United States and today and uh, today is published in Bosnia and Segovia. Sabahuddin Adyalic, a distinguished European writer and an outstanding ambassador of freedom of expression, has encompassed many challenges and almost every current obstacle faced by the democratic government of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And of course, his concerns on the recent on the recent general elections of Bosnia and Herzegovina are pertaining to many other nations in Europe, Africa, and the Western Hemisphere. Over the last year, I have felt a distinct pleasure while reading every essay published in this volume, and the style of writing all essays of Mr. Sabahulina Vialit is original, equipped with a contemporary sense of responsibility and accuracy. Essays like Bosnia and Herzegovina in the 21st century, Maestro and Century. Uh, I'm sorry, Maestro and Margarita and both in Herzegovina in the 21st century, Crime and Ourselves, have set the tone towards better understanding the society of both in Herzegovina and above all, they shed light towards understanding the shaping of corruption, nepotism, and anachronism in all of those nations that are going through democratic democracy in transition, very similar to the hard shaped nation of both in Herzegovina. Sabahuddin Adzianic always keeps an open mind in his analysis shares with the reader a myriad of attractive cultural values in the local society, but at the same time, he reveals the challenges that every individual has, the challenges that every individual has to go through in order to make a living by doing an honest work. Debates, conversations, and monologues characterize this work as a masterpiece of contemporary political narrative and journalism investigation, coupled with a genuine literary style that has no match throughout Central and Eastern Europe. The people of Bosnia and Herzegovina must be proud of such an outstanding writer whose thoughts are always focused on how to better integrate his country with the rest of the world. Through his lucidity and sometimes harsh language, Hanzialic wants to make his country a place where democratic values flourish and are always strengthened and not weakened. A society where local language, folklore and culture is preserved, but also they are a means of unity rather division. A nation that sets aside religious and political divisions and embraces development cutting edge education policies as the perfect strategy to join the European Union while considering the, provi the provincial borderlines as rudimentary remnants of the past. Within how many times we have, we have witnessed the mocking of artists who try through their own vision to awaken the bleak shade forms of the consciousness? Not to say to shake up. These are the words of such a patriotic writer that belongs to the third millennium. Hadzialic is one of the few wordsmiths who is heavily hard, who is heavily heard by decision makers worldwide. Uh, this book has also been reviewed by a distinguished author, Zeman Sokolovic, in Norway. The following are some of the comments from uh, Zeman Sokolovic in Norway written for this book. 
Once, not so long ago, we were told that the nation is a historical creation of her at a certain stage of social development and that at a certain stage will disappear. It was a sort of some kind of Marxist definition of the nation that where our teachers held it to as sacred. While today, however, the greatest sacrilege is to try to mention that there is any opinion of that time. If you are wondering why we happened, and the answer you have uh, at a first Marx who said that people's consciousness does not determine social being, but conversely, that the circumstances in which we live determines our consciousness. It is quite clear to Sabahudina Ziavic, but he asks himself in his essay how it happened or how it happens. Of course, any at all serious man, the one with an intellectual mission, should have to ask himself that. But the question is when and why we will ask it publicly. Sabahudin Azianich dared to ask himself, i.e. us, at the beginning of the third millennium of the 21st century. Due to the size and selection of topics, those are still reviews, but in the form of the treatment and the style of writing these reviews came on characteristics of many essays, and the essays are publications within journalism and science closest to the art world. Many essays published in the Eurasia Review have genuine author signature, a personality which is particularly reflected in the fact that these essays with an unusual inner dramaturgy. There are two characters in most of the essays presented, a student and a professor. Author somehow himself, his artistic position identifies more with the student. Because the student is the one who asks questions. A professor who had told him one thing and does nowadays something totally different. He's trying to justify it within his professor's kind of manner. The professor is actually the, author, the author's alter ego, student's loyal friend or assistant, which should help him to realize that from he moved from one, from he moved from one I to a different I or me. In an article titled Beggars of the Mind, we by ourselves. He's called, he called his professor the alter ego of my suicide. And in that way, it introduces a question of identity that he, as the same person, is not identical to himself. People forget that they are getting old and becoming even wiser, or how we are all, or the vast majority, overnight to diametrically opposed views. How can the same teacher who taught us one thing, today is teaching our children something else, quite the opposite thing? Uh, I'd like to stop here. And uh, again, congratulate Sabahudin Azdiavich for, uh, for this book of essays. And I'm sure that uh, many other interesting and reinvigorating books will come in the near future written by Sabahudin Azdiavich. Thank you. What shall I say after these words? Then? Thank you very much, dear Peter. Uh, just like, like to add that the uh, distinguished also Professor Dr. Jamal Sokolovich, who has, used to be the also representative professor from Sarah University nowadays, uh, living retired, retired in, in Norway, but he also accepted Michael Porter and he in the book. All the essays that have been published in this book have been published uh, on the basis of the weekly in Euro Asia Review, edited by Robert Dunk Duncan. A uh, remarkable distinguished uh, writer and journalist of the United States of America. And uh, they also had the opportunity to become also the senior partner of that magazine and journal. I have been invited and I was in Kazakhstan last month for six days to be representative Ken Vegin of the United States of America. Instead of Bosnia and Herzegovina, I was there as representative of the United States of America and was uh, unpleasantly surprised when that forum nobody was from Southeast Europe. Very important forum in that. So, uh, this uh, book of essays is a complete form of almost 30 essays about Bosnia and Herzegovina in the 21st century and, as my reviewers said, trying to find an answer. Maybe the answer will be in this essay which I would like to present to you the essay that opens this book. Bosnia and Herzegovina in the 21st century, the answer is simple. Why all this? Methodology. The science of the possible is a relentless. And then I think that none of these events should have happened. I do not want to look for an answer where there are none, but through the simple words, answer the question, how? Because the goal was nothing more than hypocritical desire of individuals eager to manipulate the human souls 
of the region to shape the South American model of life for the local people? Why are there so many drugs on the streets of Sarajevo, Zenica, Tuzla, Bogoino, Trana, Banaluka, Mostar, Chapina, Posushe? The answer is simple. That was the goal. To enable total anarchy and produce a situation in which all things become possible. Oh, how good are their teachers? All those who have been excommunicated from this area back in the 50s of 20th century. They came back on the eve of the wars and brought the plan. No plan, the revenge. Yes, revenge for everything that has been done to them during their youth. To ruin the environment of humans and the nation of Bosnian and Slovenia. They have been woven into the South American crazy dreams that still exist. They have brought a cloud of madness that encompasses <coughs> the width of its current premises. Why yesterday's beggars overnight became the rulers of our souls? The answer is simple. Lies. Yes, the story of the threats to white national interests became their fuel. Word without objection raised in the fear of their own vanity. Lie like those of Gables that are repeated a thousand times. Lying about the green, blue and red color that together can do anything else than to give sleepy gray disappearances of one of them, or even all of them together. And the joint mixed colors that has never been. Only real truth belongs to them. Why corruption unites human creatures that have been called the squirrels of new forms of democratic thought? The answer is simple. Where everyone steals, nobody is stealing. And the circle is closed. Causing relentlessly or every citizen in order to absorb everyone's desire they have for a better life. The one that leads to human ends right where it will be misplaced shores of years of life. They have taken from me more than two decades. 24 years of suffering to a single moment, a moment of raises simply raised by them. And when the hopes, when trying to recreate the creation of it, they will come back again, crazy in their attempt to kill the human character in me. Why obey to the ones on the front line? The answer is simple. Do not let anyone who has been in education with the possession of his or her own attitude or stance as its skepticism of choice. And the reason? Do not bring into the question the word of a leader. Attitude and behavior of the leader. Opinion of the leader. Because the leader is the nation. And he, as an individual person called a leader, is only the executioner of public desire. Complete ancient and sentential desire for final liberation from, its, from the self. In a word, through dying. The answer is simple. Not complicated, but really simple. In the moment when the general interest and beyond individual ones, uh, then what then we will finally cease to serve them. The moment when, until then, I'll try to fight the offenses to finally become part of the common good, not through the silence of Orwellian times, individual aspiration directed. And as the poet once said, whether the freedom will be able to sing as the slaves sang about it. I will not let freedom to do that because I must live for the day, some day of the future generation, shaped within the foundation of the present. A day of good people, a day of truth and reconciliation. A day when there is no matter of who you are, but only how are you doing things with your own mission, because of yourself, within the whole society. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Dino. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Boston Cultural Center. Believe me, after 15 books, uh, every new one is like a new child. Uh, this book is also a new child for me also and for Peter. And I would like again for all of us to finish as we started. I would like to ask Peter again to go to the piano and finish this evening with his another composition.